Within 30 minutes from the heart of London, a woodland haven of painted boats, little ships which once sailed for Dunkirk, larger craft which have sailed the Atlantic. Many families came to Cubitt's Yacht Basin when housing shortage drove them to seek homes afloat. Others saw in it a place where their children would be safe from the noise and dust of city streets. It's a floating village of man-built hulls, where the homemaking touch of women folk and the laughter of kiddies have brought neighborliness and peace. With the passing of time, the tough old hulls have been content to surrender even their memories of seagoing days to the quiet life of a Thames backwater. Do they call him the grocer? No, he's their purser. But there's no hard tack for his waterborne customers. And if maybe there's precious little salt pork too, well, at least there's no quarantine to be passed every time Bonzo follows his mistress on board. Mrs. Price, ten years afloat, presides at dinner aboard the Hibernia. For the kiddies, it's one long picnic, though, mark you, it's a bit of a come down for cabin walls which have seen such nautical delicacies as tiddy -oggy. But even if the victuals are a bit land lubberly, the kitchen, sorry, the galley, would delight the heart of a sea cook. They'll play at stowaways when they tire of trains. Aboard Thetis, moored nearby, Mother has raised a good head of steam to get little Johnny Way spick and span for the captain's rounds. Meanwhile, up go the riding lights as the first chill of evening approaches. Come wind, come rain, baby will lie snug in his uh, hammock. Inside the cabin, all is warm and cosy. 